Hello. When you hear that sort of thing spoken about you, doesn't it sound like somebody else? <laughs> I'm trying to work out where does that fit into my life. I did arrive here in England in 1961, four months before my 21st birthday. And in my luggage was the prospectus of the Rose Bruford College of Speech and Drama, as it then was. From a very young age, I determined that I wanted to be an actor, and as it was almost impossible to train Chair of Governors, I am thankful for this extraordinary honor today. And for those of you who are about to launch yourself on an unknowing world, I say, take with you the principles that you have learned here, and be steadfast and true in the ideals that have governed this college since its exception. When I graduated in 1968, the lot of black actors in this country, in Great Britain, was nowhere near what it is today. And through the three years I spent here, and the resources I gathered to myself to be able to pick up the opportunities when they finally did come, have never left me. Thank you very much. <laughs>